this video, I'm going to talk to you about why training classes are worthless. First thing I want to identify is what training is. Training is basically an introduction to a certain skill and basically how to develop that skill. So you're introduced to things like certain drills or whatever, like uh, if you take an intro to the handgun or handgun 101 or whatever the uh, school or uh, instructor came up with for a title, you know, it's basic intro to uh, handguns or pistols or whatever. Uh, you'll learn things like, you know, how to safely operate the pistol, how to unload it properly. So they'll come up with a drill on how they expect you to unload it, like lock the slide to the rear, take out the magazine, or if I, or the reverse of that, take out the magazine and then lock the slide back. Uh, different instructors teach it different ways, but depending on the course you go to, you'll learn it one way or the other. But anyways, you'll learn other things like how to shoot um, properly and stuff like that, the basics of how to shoot uh, competently and stuff like that. It's not going to be all that big, but anyways, you're going to learn things that you're expected to take outside of the training course and implement in your own practice because the suggestion is you're not just going to training to practice using a gun in training you're practicing using the gun on your own safely like with snap caps and stuff that I've demonstrated on my own channel however a lot of people don't do that do they so anyways um, training really is an opportunity also beyond like intro to pistol and intro to you know whatever if you're taking a more advanced class like maybe it's a you know stacking on that good foundation that you have you're competent at shooting and you can you can work pretty good with a pistol, but now you want to learn like how to actually apply it, like maybe in force on force, you're starting to build those blocks. The training becomes an opportunity for you to identify th certain things that you can work on or change your dry fire practice routine. And basically, the only reason you'd really be going to the range, maybe you go daily, but the reason you go to the range is to verify that your dry fire practice is the concept of your training is actually in line with the, with the progression that you're expecting and wanting. So that's what training is. It's a way to learn a new skill and then you use that. You're paying attention in the class and you're identifying certain things that you want to add to your regimen. Drills, uh, certain techniques, uh, maybe you know in force on force training you realized hey guess what you know this whole thing doesn't exactly work like retention shooting and standing still and pretending to be the target that you're practicing on doesn't really work when somebody's actually trying to slug you over the head because it doesn't but anyways um, you know training is an opportunity to identify these certain things that you're really not going to get otherwise so if you're not implementing implementing them in conducting dry fire training and then conducting training at the range then Training classes are worthless, aren't they? Because it's not like these things are going to be automatically retained, and it's not like you've mastered these skills just because you got a certificate that you went to a low light training course, or hey, you went to a, you know a Warrior Poet Society training course, or you trained with Rob Latham. That doesn't mean that you actually know what you're doing. Uh, so that that's the sad part is a lot of people spend a lot of money on training classes but they don't implement it in their own practice they don't even think of practicing outside of a training class that's really sad and this is where training is basically worthless for these people because they don't implement it and it's basically the way I would describe a firearms training and firearms proficiency if you guys have ever played Halo or any kind of video game where you basically have infinite ammo as long as you don't overheat the gun like on Halo you had the plasma pistol or I think it was a plasma pistol or whatever it basically had that heat bar and or maybe on the machine guns or something like that but basically think of firearms training and practice like that heat bar so you go up and you get really good, you get really good, and then it cools down when you don't use it. And then you get really good and really good, and then it cools down. Now, there is an instance where you can actually get too heated up in training, where you train so much that you actually start diminishing your results and stuff like that. And this is where training can help as well. But my point is, in this whole video, yes, it's kind of clickbaitish, but 
it, it's really sad that you get so many people that spend all this money on training and they have no intention of actually practicing what they learned or even implementing it. And they don't even know how and they won't even ask why. So, or, or ask how, you know, to the instructors, like how should I implement this or how should I train uh, to stay proficient in this and how should I practice, you know, whatever. And they don't even understand that the fact that you need to constantly practice these are perishable skills we don't we don't exactly shoot every day in our day-to-day -day jobs do we you know when you're typing out a computer that's not the same as pulling a trigger you know that it's not uh, drilling you know a screw into a stud as a carpenter is not the same as you know presenting a pistol it's not so, you know, we are doing something unnatural and something we don't do in our daily lives. So we need to constantly add it into our daily lives in order to become kind of second nature. Because that's the only way to do it is to add it into our daily lives. Just like everything else. If you want it to become instinctive, then it needs to be part of your life. That's the only way to do it. That's how the human brain works. So anyways... Sorry about the clickbait video for some of you people, but I think it was a message that needed to be conveyed, no matter how harsh it may seem. But anyways, I appreciate you guys watching. Go ahead and leave your comments below on how much you hate that I clickbaited you. But anyways, you guys have a good one.